the state international airport, which is one of the numerous electionary promises of the state governor, is fast becoming a reality as it has reached 80% completion level and of international standard. The fastest emerging airport, situated at the center of the state in Onweke Aziz of Abakliki Afriko Federal Road, has quality access roads with adjoining state of the art flyover for free flow of traffic. The initiator of the project and governor of Ebony State, Engineer David Mwezo Mahi, earlier said. The airport would serve the aviation needs of the state and neighboring states like Abia, Cross River, Benue, and Enugu, among others, and by extension, enhance their socio-economic status. The engineering ingenuity and high test of modernism of Governor Mahe spurred him to construct the state-of-the-art airport with first-class facilities like police posts, immigration office, presidential lounge, gigantic terminal building, fire service station, control tower, internal roads, high quality runway and serene environment among others, bearing his mind on the impact of the airport to the socio-economic development of the state and the neighboring states. The State Commissioner for Infrastructural Development for Concession, Chief Romanus Wansom, expressed optimism that the airport, when completed, would compete with the best airports globally and would create thousands of direct and indirect jobs for the people. The airport was a vision of His Excellency the, the, the Governor, Engineer Dave. Omahi, this airport will be an economic hub of this region, this part of the world, to serve Ebony State, to serve Abia State, to serve part of Enugu State, to serve Cross River, to serve part of Benue. And when you see the area, the catchment area, you will know that it has a very viable economic potential. Presently, we are recruiting because the employment opportunity here is so enormous. Quiz further on the governor's overall developmental strides in the state. The commissioner scored the governor high for embarking on people-oriented projects like ring roads, urban renewal, new government house, year flyover, qualitative education and healthcare delivery, among others, and prayed that his successor would continue and improve upon his legacies for the rapid development of the state. The governor has done marvelously, exceedingly, fantastically very well in terms of infrastructure development and also human capital. If you tell, consider what you have put in place in developing Agonians, like the economic environment, the bringing in of so many people to the cabinet that he gave money without stress. I mean, he has done his best in human development. The airport is currently recruiting qualified personnel to fill necessary positions towards its takeoff. I am Douglas Wanko.